Welcome back. We have managed to power up the machine that Gen uses to fix his flawed linking books, giving us access to this book to his 234th age. We heard someone else turn on this machine shortly before we uh, saw Gen's head in the imager in the temple. So I have a feeling that Gen is there too. Let's find out. And we're in a cage. Oh, I think Gen has noticed our arrival. I apologize for the cage. I'm afraid this situation has often required of me a more primitive code of conduct than I might otherwise have chosen. I am Gen. I assume you've heard of me. Yes. Well, I suspect you have acquired some false information of who I am now. Not that my son would have lied to you about me. No, not Atris. It's just that well, I'm sure he believes me to still be the depraved father I once was. Yes. I even tried to kill him once. God, if I had accomplished that, who knows what I would have become. A great father indeed, who tries to murder his own son. Thankfully, he trapped me on age five, a prison of my own creation. No books, no precious inks. No ages to link to, nothing but my own foolish ambitions. That was 30 years ago. 30 years, 30 lifetimes, what does it matter? No sentence could be too harsh for the man I was. But I have changed. Be sure, the deeds of my past can never be completely atoned for, but my mission was an honorable one. I'm sorry, this is all a bit awkward. I... It's been a long time since I've attempted to persuade anyone of my intentions. Most of the people here have already made their minds up about me one way or another. I myself do not trust the words of most men, so I don't expect you to believe me. In the end, though, you may discover that I do have more than mere words to offer. Atris's choice of punishment has been hard on the people of Riven, and many have suffered because of it. The island has been steadily decaying for years, but according to my most recent measurements, it appears that the Fifth Age has entered its final days. Unless the villagers can be relocated soon, the island will collapse entirely and everyone will perish. It has taken me a long time to do it, but it appears that finally I'll be able to make some substantial amends to my past transgressions, especially in Well, I'm afraid I've had some trouble with Catherine and the moiety. In any society, there will always be a small percentage of the population with rebellious tendencies. Before Catherine appeared, the moiety, as they call themselves, 
had been relatively harmless. I mean, the natives here are a fairly violent people by nature, but I'd almost come to accept their presence. Upon Catherine's return, however, their violence intensified considerably. It seems she's become some sort of religious savior to them. As far as I can tell, she's come to believe this herself. So I've had no alternative. I had to separate her from her people. The actions of Catherine and the moiety have put my own life at risk on numerous occasions. Consequently, the lives of all the people here. Therefore, I must ask you to refrain from any attempt to free her. Although I'm sure Atrus desires it. Indeed, he must desire it with all his heart. But he is completely unaware of her recent state. I know that you arrived in the Fifth Age with a book which was immediately stolen from you. Needless to say, its reacquisition is of interest to me, though my personal history with the moiety does not give me much hope for it. Still, there is a chance you might somehow manage to retrieve it. If you do, I would ask for the safety of all concerned that you bring it to me at your earliest opportunity. Again, to be honest, my reasons here are partly selfish. There is so much yet to be resolved between Atris and myself, especially in light of what has become of Catherine. In any case, my immediate concern is the completion of the sanctuary I've long promised to all the islanders. In the meantime, the stolen linking book. We should probably not meet again until you've recovered it. I will know if you succeeded and will await your return. Good luck with your search. I hope to see you back here shortly. And he goes back outside, leaving us in this cage, which of course has a symbol on the floor, why wouldn't it? So, I guess we really don't have uh, any way of getting to him without recovering our stolen linking book. Which he is understandably interested in, and that's okay with us, because, you know, it's a trap. Looks like he has a, a set of pre-charged power marbles there. Possibly more than one, depending on what's in that other carrying case. Looks like he has a uh, considerably smaller device for fixing his linking books here. Must have improved on the original design. But presumably he still um, still needs the power marbles. And would not have access to a way to create them on this age without access to the starfisher. So it makes sense that he uh, would bring them and keep a bunch in spare. Still seems to work mostly the same way in that it shines some kind of light on the book which fixes it. It barely fixes it. it. Doesn't seem to actually show much of a linking panel here. Hopefully it will still work. Looks like his desk is uh, well adorned with that symbol as well. 
he left his pipe on the on the machine. That's kind of funny. Alright, but nothing much we can do here from inside this cage. So, we shall have to take this linking book back. There's only one linking book instead of the five, which makes sense because there's no linking books in the domes in this version. And you might be wondering, why did I go here first? When I didn't do that in my original Let's Play. And that's your answer. I went there first because I didn't do that in the original Let's Play. And it does give you a little bit extra dialogue. Again, asking you to retrieve the book. I'm very, very happy that they were able to at least preserve the... Uh, the uh, voice acting from uh, John Caston's performance, the audio. Even if we could not have his uh, great physical performance in the form of the actual video capture. Unfortunately, John Caston is no longer with us, so any chance of re-recording his line would, lines would have required to recast him, which they did with Catherine. But uh, I think John Caston's performance again is so iconic that, yeah, you, it would have been really hard to find someone else who would have done that justice. Anyway, it looks like uh, the linking book actually takes us into his study on Boiler Island rather than back to... Uh, back to the Golden Dome. Which I'm guessing means that uh, Gen isn't going to be very happy with us <laughs> messing up the bridge over here. Because this would have been the quickest way back to to the Golden Dome. And also a way back that Gives you immediate access to the linking book back to 233rd age without needing to mess with the rotating room. Because now you either have to go the long way around through, um, well, I guess the, the best, considering Gen probably doesn't want to write the, uh, the minecart, which, uh, yeah, it's over there. Um, I'm assuming that, uh, that, yeah, the way he would have to take would be to take the back left to Survey Island, then to Jungle Island, and then to Temple Island. Of course, you can use the, uh, the domes as a shortcut. But then you do have to mess with the rotating room to get get access to the linking book. So either way, it's kind of inconvenient for him that we did this. Not sure if I mind that much, since despite his protestations to the contrary, I am somewhat skeptical that he is indeed reformed based on all that we've seen so far. Um, we should probably get a move on getting that uh, prison book back, though. And in order to do that, we need to uh, get back to Jungle Island. Which, um, I guess we could use the domes. Um, 
I'm actually gonna take the uh, the mine card back because I really like that ride. And I can't imagine it being much slower than waiting for the loading screens and fiddling with the uh, the center platform. Plus I have a hypothesis I want to confirm. The first time we took the minecart, we did not know anything about Riven's water yet. And now we do. It's interesting that you stand on the end of the minecart rather than actually going in it. In this version. Kind of makes it feel like this is an intended thing to do rather than you know being in the minecart and almost getting dumped into the shredder. Which I guess makes sense that against men after cutting down trees would follow him. Would go with the wood, I mean. Follow the wood here to then, you know, activate the shredder and probably move the wood pulp to the boiler or wherever it's needed. Without having to go a long way around. Especially seems that way since, yeah, the handle's right there. But now we do know um, that the gaps in Riven's water are caused by heat. So, what I think here is, yeah, these rings are producing heat, creating this tunnel in the water. It's not sure what their power source is, if it's like fire marble related or uh, hydrothermal power. Some rings in the cave to prevent the water from coming up into it. Either way, you would not want one of those to fail. It's going to be a bad day if uh, one of those rings turns off. Hopefully there's enough to at least have some kind of uh, buffer that you don't immediately drown. Or if the cart gets stuck. So, we have to get our book back, and we have to find the uh, moiety. Now we know from the note in Gen's lap that the moiety have left these um, things behind on the grave totems, which we now know show Rivenese numbers. This would be uh, the Rivenese number four, based on our prior conclusions there. So we know this has something to do with the moiety. And right by the pole we also find this uh, symbol made by the butterflies who presumably are lured to land in that position somehow, like I speculated before. We've also seen the missing um, number in the jungle, which also had a symbol nearby. We saw a painting on the uh, on the cliff wall, which we could observe with a totem and a number from the telescope on Prison Island. Uh, but there's two more totems that we 
haven't figured out what to do with yet. There's one by the tree. The tree didn't really look like anything. And there's one by the uh, pool near the maglev on this island. Where the, we couldn't quite make out what the painting on the cavern ceiling was meant to look like. It would help if we knew what symbols are supposed to be. Or for that matter, how many there are. Um, there's a few avenues here we have not explored though. Uh, particularly the village itself. Which we can't access because of the drawbridges. However, I did notice that there was a... Um, a passage. Or seems to be a passage uh, on the other side of the maglev. Here, you can see there's some light coming from there, and there is a call button on that side. So let's see if there's actually something there. Well, yeah, call button. And it does look like this is indeed a passageway. Let's see where this goes. This is a location that does not exist in the original, so... Oh! That's... Looks like the... Uh, the... Uh, submarine we saw in the village before. I wonder where this this actually comes out, this opening. Of course, submarine is in the village in the original game. I think this actually makes a little more sense, as uh, I doubt the villagers um, use the submarine. They don't need it to get to school anymore in this version, so that's good. Um, it's probably only used by Gen and his men, so why store it in the village? I'm assuming this is meant to call the submarine when it's not here. So we know it's not for the Mac left since it has its own button. Looks like there's a platform above it. Um, I can't walk on to this at all when it's not... Uh, when it's retracted like this. Um, I can however flip the switch. Which puts it above the sub. And the controls look a bit different from the original game as well. Looks like we have... Um, that doesn't move... Oh, that does. We can put that... Yeah, only on the dots. And there's a lever. Now let's 
see what happens, I guess. Oh, <laughs> and here I was expecting to go up. I actually was expecting to go up the first time I played this. I don't know why. It's because it's because of that like tunnel above the submarine. It makes more sense that it goes down, considering it's a submarine. But, uh... And it looks like the water's being held back with another heated ring. Now we are in the water. I guess this indicates whether or not there is water around. Oh, get a good look at the fish now. Water's gone. The sunshine bouncing off the water into the sup, making a cool effect here. So, now where are we? We went somewhere. Um... Hmm... Looks like um, the sup was used for prison, prisoner transport. With these shackles. Wonder why? Would he bring them to Survey Island to feed to the orcs there? I guess that's possible, since that maglev does go to Survey Island. Yeah, that, that, that makes it make even more sense that uh, we're not using this to get to the school. A, it's kind of cramped to send a bunch of kids to school. B, let's not, you know. But where did we go, though? You can still get to the school with the maglev because there, we did see a platform there. But it seems that we are opposite the village. At this weird contraption. I was about to say floating contraption, but it's uh, actually anchored to the floor. This is what we closed before. And an elder hole has formed in the water here, around the sub. Could have just made up like a tunnel that leads up. Why bother with making holes in the water? Looks like there's a heating element underneath the... It's kind of hard to get a good look at it from, from here. You can see it through the water. There's a heating element underneath the sub that creates that hole. Yeah, we were sitting all the way up there. And pulled the lever to uh, close this. What purpose does that serve? Some buttons here. Oh, you just raised something on the top there. Not helpful. Ah, put it back where it started.
Okay. Those look like shackles as well. And considering how low this goes, when this is open, that's intended to lower these people into the water. I think we've just found the uh, actual real life version of the war game. Again, uses this contraption to lower people into the water to be eaten by warks. Like I said, this lake is probably open to um, the ocean so they can get in here. And, um, yeah, then they get fed to the works in full view of the village. Presumably, while Gen is uh, up there to either open or close this. Maybe he can decide to spare them or something. Or he could be over there giving a speech while his uh, men lower the gallows. Um, looks like we can stand on here. Which may give us a way up, but... There's definitely something up there, which doesn't look like it can be reached by any other means. The button, however, is not reachable from there, so... Do we need a second person here? Unfortunately, this isn't Uru, so we can't get, uh, get anyone to help. Let's see. It's blinking. Is it a light? Oh, I was just... I was like a fraction of a second too late there. Okay. But there's a delay on the button, so that does give us a chance to... Um, to get up there. Gonna have to call it back down. This makes it seem like this is... Uh, an intended use of this platform. There we go, now we're on top of it. They take people up this way. Another set of controls here. All these warg skulls here too. Really makes it feel like Gen is using the warg to uh, scare the villagers into submission. Yeah, so much we're not seeing uh, much evidence of this claim that... Uh, he is a reformed man. Even if he hasn't used any of this for a while, he certainly didn't try to take it down or anything. Oh, I guess you can raise this to... Uh, so people can actually get, you know, hung from these... Uh, from these shackles. Yeah, so the fact that the platform can stop here at all definitely makes it seem like this is an intended way to get up. And indeed, there is no other way to get up, unlike the original game. Moving on, let's see what's here. Oh! There's a guy in there. Hello? Sir? I think he's sleeping. Is this a prison? 
Although, feels like a relatively slender person would just be able to go out the middle gap there. Although, even if they could, where can they go? If the sub's not here, I mean, you could swim, I guess. I'm assuming that, yeah, this probably is too small for someone's shoulders then, at least. So, I guess this is a prison. So again, uses the... or presumably as men, I doubt he uh, gets his hands, hands dirty with this kind of thing. Uses the sub to uh, transport pr prisoners here. Then they get taken up using the platform, put in the cell to wait their execution by Wark. Yikes. Also, the fact that there's somebody in this cell kind of negates the whole idea that he's not doing this anymore. I mean, I guess we can't prove that he's still feeding them to the Warks, but he is still imprisoning people. I doubt the villagers are using this, uh, this prison for, them, for their own purposes. We are not presently being watched. I don't think he would be able to see us up here anyway. Um... I guess the sup can also still be used to take people back to the, the start and bring him to Survey Island to feed the works there. Um, let's see. What does this do? It opens the prison. Better hope that guy in there is friendly. Well, if he's an enemy of Gen, then I guess uh, he would be a friend of ours. Wait, what? Um, did I imagine him? He's gone, and he definitely didn't go this way, because we were looking at it the whole time. That means there must be another way out of this prison, but I don't see anything. There's a drain there, but it doesn't look like we can do anything with it. Hmm. Well, you know what? The people who are most likely to end up in here are probably the rebels, the moiety. So, if they have a way out... Maybe we can find it. Aha! There is... a drawing of one of the moiety daggers here. And we can push that stone. So they do have a way of getting out of the prison. behind us. So, the prisoner must have gone this way. Yep. It's a bit dark. Now, in the original game, the way to get through the darkness is just to click through it until you reach the other end. Which you can still do. You can walk through it and that's, you know, knowing the original game is assumed... I assumed that's what I needed to do, and I did it in VR, which made it kind of awkward, because you had to kind of just figure out where... Because I'm in teleport mode in VR. So, I kind of had just had to figure out, like, where can I teleport to that's still in front of me? 
I didn't make it through that way. And uh, you don't need to. <laughs> there is actually a, a pretty clear clue left behind for anybody who has this uh, this lens. Which shows the way. Not that I think you'd need it in real life. You could just... Since this is just one straight tunnel, you could just put your hand on one wall and fairly easily make it through that way. But this makes our life a lot easier. Huh. That takes us to the water. Can take a boat from here? If he did, then, well, we're not following him. Since, uh, I don't have a boat, and I don't feel like swimming God knows how far. What's this? Oh, it's a light. The fire marble, actually. I guess that will make the way back a little easier. I like how this contraption works. Like, you pull down the tension on the stick, causes the fire marble to strike the rock, and that's what illuminates it. wonder how long a fire marble stays illuminated after it's been struck. Presumably not uh, indefinitely. But probably not a very short time either, because that would just be annoying. Wait a second. There's a door here. Which... The marks on the floor bypass. Well, I guess if you use the one hand on the wall method that I suggested, if you used your right arm, you might find it by accident. Um, before we check that out, I just want to Turn the rest of the lights off to see. Yeah, it does go all the way back. Actually, there was one of those lights already here, which was turned on. Suppose you can go back into the prison this way. Seems like a kind of annoying way to get in and out of here, though. Like, you have to be thrown into prison. And then, to get out, somebody has to let you out from the other side. Unless this door leads somewhere useful, but I guess we'll find that out in the next video.